So guys, welcome back to the channel. Now, this is going to be a two-parter. Like, I'm just going to say a few things up ahead before I get my true thoughts and feelings about what's going on. I am very aware of what's going on. But, I cannot possibly understand what is going on with the situation, how it came to four days of riots. Riots, I call you that. And saying this is from Scotland, who is white and who is from Scotland. So that means I have somehow automatically no idea how it feels to watch someone be murdered by a cop. Right, apparently that's how I'm supposed to feel. I'm not supposed to understand how it feels. I'm not supposed to feel how it's supposed to be. But that's it. So let's talk about George Floyd. What the fuck? What happened with George Floyd should have never happened in the first place. When you watch six minutes of a man in this position with a foot being pressed on his neck saying, I can't believe, I can't believe to the cops. And they are just doing fuck all. You have dumb shit cop one, dumb shit cop two, and killer cop dumb shit. And actually on the fourth day or fifth day, thank fuck he's been charged for murder. Right? I'm just saying that, thank fuck. I'm not the only one who fought this as well. There was a lot of cops in from around the the country of America that realized this was an absolute travesty. And I should let you see some of the people who fought that as well. This was long in every respect of the word. I've been a cop for 23 years. And watching the video of Mr. Floyd being pinned to the ground was one of the worst things I've seen. His fellow officers stood there. They did nothing. Y'all took an oath. Man, the same oath that 800,000 of us have taken. To serve and protect our communities. Officers like this tarnish the badge. They tarnish the oath. We have to go out here and work harder to repair those relationships with our communities. Across the entire U.S. Because it doesn't just affect one community it affects all of them i hope y'all are charged accordingly to the floyd family i am sorry for your loss and to my blue family we can't let this happen anymore enforcement family doesn't take this the wrong way my take on this is very simple the man was murdered nowhere in mechanics of arrest are we ever taught to put our knees onto somebody's neck slash throat area, especially for that long. And the three officers standing around watching that happen, y'all are at fault too. Y'all could have told the man, get off him, he can't breathe. I mean, you're hearing him say it, but then you allow it to just continue. Whatever happens to those officers happens. Uh, it should have never gone that way ever rest in peace george floyd for real enforcement let's talk things that happen in minneapolis cop standpoint right i am disgusted with the things that happened in minneapolis pure point blank things could have went way different at the end of the day let's talk facts guy is on the ground he's laying on his stomach he have handcuffs on it's four of y'all one of him four of y'all one of him who has control of the situation it's not much one person could do against four people now let's get deeper right as an officer, you are a first responder, right? So if in the midst of you trying to gain compliance, someone is hurt, you have to render aid. So somebody's saying, I can't breathe, I can't breathe, I can't breathe. You don't think to yourself and say, oh my gosh, this guy can't breathe. He might die. Let me render aid, right? Another point, officers, other officers, if you're going to be an officer that's going to stand there and not help and not help when things go wrong, Come on, like you don't see that? That's the reason I got behind his badge, right? Because I want them officers that's afraid to step up, I want to be the one to step up. If I see wrong happening, wrong is not happening in my presence, right? I'm going to check it. And that's period. This was pure murder. 
There was absolutely nothing of it. And the fact that they disclosed it as like third degree murder, basically accidental murder, this is not accidental fucking murder, people. This was exactly what it was. Murder. When you press a foot onto someone's neck, all your body weight onto someone's neck, and they can't believe, you are stopping that body from functioning to believe. Right? That's the fucking problem. And, to be honest, it's... I don't even know how to think about it. I uh, feel so sorry to the family and friends of George Floyd. And... It's really tragic how it all happened. It's actually really tragic what happened afterwards as well, leading to all this stupid, stupid fucking events going around America, saying this is a lace war and all that. Is this how you're supposed to remember George Floyd? Is, is this how I'm supposed to remember him? Is this how his family's supposed to remember him? Are we supposed to think, oh, George Floyd is the reason this all this violence happened? Yeah. I understand you're pissed. I understand all that. I mean, I understand the Black Lives Matter thing. I get that. You say things are wrong, things are happening. There is sometimes there's a reason for when cop people get prosecuted, charged, and all that from cops. You don't have to be a black man. You don't have to be an Asian man. You don't have to be Hispanic. You don't have to be anything. If the cops pull you over, they have every fucking right to do so. Because they are suspicious. And you have done something wrong. Maybe you were speeding. Maybe you have drugs in the car. Maybe something else. I really don't want to think about it. But the fact is... George shouldn't have died in the first place. George died. We have to get that flu. He died by while being detained by the cops being choked to death, putting another officer's full body weight onto another person, or George. And honestly, it's quite tragic. Um, I'm not sure how much I can say this without mentioning the riots and all like that. I think all those people that did riots, they should be absolutely ashamed of themselves. And yeah, I, I do believe on the first day when things were going wrong, like, I was like, I did actually didn't believe this was actually a thing. There was this, there was like a picture I saw where a woman had a mask, a face mask on her face saying, I can't believe. I thought she was just doing something to do with coronavirus. Because we still forget we're still in a coronavirus situation. And I was like, well, just take the mask off. Didn't know that was actually the quote used by George during the incident. But... It's weird how all the prosecution and all that has went. Even the mayor of the town, which apparently is quite a lefty, he doesn't seem to be annoyed about how bad the city has went. And the fact that things have gone so out of hand, nobody's calling them out for it, and every news outlet is just buying all the bits that they want to buy from the situation. Instead of buying a full gun... They're just buying the clip and thinking they might can do something with the less the ammunition. They don't even have the gun. You know what I mean? That's that's how bad it is. You're trying to work a gun and you don't. You just have the the clock. Can't even make a sense of this, can I? It it doesn't fucking work, right? It doesn't work. And to be honest, it's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame that it's came to a state where the president has to announce the National Guard has to be introduced. You should all be ashamed of yourselves. Pay the specs to George Floyd. I do not believe all that people are protesting are for George Floyd. I believe this is Antifa. I've seen the logos everywhere on the news coverage of Antifa symbols everywhere. I've seen all this stuff before. And this was exactly what people like to exploit from this. Instead of a man who was black got killed by the cops, people will exploit this to the letter. And they would burn the letter and then they'll glue it back together to burn it again. This is why 
it's not a good situation. But all respects to George and his family. I'm sorry though for your loss. And it, this should never have happened. And it looks like it's about to get worse. If it does get worse, I'm sorry, but things are going wrong. I just don't know how to think about it because it's not really that easy to think about. It's really t tough. George shouldn't have died like that. It was wrong. I understand why he's so pissed off, but that's not the way to do it. You poo a shame on Martin Luther King. He did all those things years ago for the black people. Peaceful protests all the time. Nothing wrong. Fighting for the Native American, or sorry, the black American, sorry. Probably natives too would be a good thing to say there. If he, you just put an absolute shame to it. When a man gets murdered by the cops, you do not cause violence on them. No matter how much you want. It's just a shame. R.I.P. George Floyd. Hope this doesn't happen again to the scale it has. Thank you. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video to the very end. That means I'm excellent for this channel. I mean, if you want to support this channel even further, please be sure to like, share and subscribe this video or the channel in any other sort of way. And if you want to support this channel even further than that, which would be appreciated anyway, please be sure to click any links below for alternative means where we can get more content out to you guys. And remember, hail the Empire!